scrapping. That kid Lopez is a beast, and his left hook is me. Wait a minute, it, is that OJ in the fourth seat? No, no, I don't know. I can't tell because of Smitty's pixelated quad in this big back TV. Yeah, yeah. Smitty, your TV got ass. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, does it twerk, brother? Does it twerk? Does it twerk? <laughs> All right, all right, look, ain't nothing wrong with my TV. It's vintage. They don't even make them like this anymore. And there's a reason for that. It's called the 21st century. <laughs> this one is special to me. I bought this from my Aunt Irma at a garage sale so she could save some money. To do what? Buy a flat screen. Oh, exactly. Man, look, man. Hey, case closed, brother, man. You're gonna get a brand new flat screen ASAP. Yeah, plus for... $300, you could get a really nice one. I said it once, I say it again. I don't need no new TV. This one works perfectly. Oh! Fine, I get a new flat screen. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta raise the money. Jay, you wanna buy a vintage TV? It's smoking. <laughs>
He threw in a VCR, a CD player, a bowling ball, a pair of skis, and six rolls of paper towels. A pair of skis and paper towels? Yeah, you know, to keep the screen clean. What? Oh, you right. I did get hustled. Yes, that's right. Cameras will be there, so put them on me during the wedding. And I want big flowers, really big, glitter, everything that you can find. And I want a big sign that Percy. says, Percy, uh, hi. What the hell? <laughs> Welcome to Percy's Wedding Wonderland. What do you think? How the hell did you get in here? I, I know I locked the front door. Oh, Jay, those details are not important. But what is important is this wedding, OK? Now sit down and relax. Compliment your champagne. Yeah? Please and thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, Percy, who the hell is he? Oh, that's my assistant, Flavio. And who is he? Um, that's Flavio's assistant. And what is he doing here? Oh, Jay, this is my assistant's assistant. You didn't think that he was going to do all the work, now, did you? <laughs> Duh. No, 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 no. This is way too much. Oh, Jay, you just need some time maybe to cool off. Peace, zen, and tranquility. Hey, get the hell out of my face! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 all this is really nice. But, um, and Percy, remember, we hired you because we're on a budget. Oh, Cheryl, I know you're on a budget, but I was just trying to find some simple things so that I can figure out your wedding style. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um... Uh, let's talk things, okay? What I was thinking was we have you up hoisted over the aisle, looking like the angel that you are, Cheryl. So she can flash all our family and friends as she hovers over them? I don't think so. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, what about a classic wedding thing? <laughs> classic? <laughs> Hell no! Okay. What else did you have in mind? I'm glad you asked, Cheryl. I was thinking, since you are such a fine thing of wine yourself, you should have a great Gatsby theme wedding. Oh, what do you think? Yeah. Voila! Oh, Check it out, that looks pretty. It looks pretty expensive. How much is all this going to cost us? Oh, my goodness, Jay. You're always a buzzkill. Flavio will handle all the expenses in due time. Trust me, it'll all be a piece of cake. Now, speaking of cake, we have three assorted flavors for you all to try. Grand Marnier, Key Lime, and Raspberry Rubrumptious. You have to try some. It's to die for. Ah. Um, I definitely like the Grand Marnier. Mm, Grand Marnier for a grand wedding. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be everything. Listen, you guys, I'll be back tomorrow with more details and more style, okay? Boys, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, aren't you going to clean up all this stuff before you leave? Now, Jay, you hired me to be your wedding planner, but I am not your man, OK? <laughs> hey, you use me. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> Smitty, what is wrong with you? You eating that like you mad at somebody. I'm mad at hell, Mabel. Let me guess. Some uh, broke-ass dude sold you a janky TV off the back of his truck. When you plugged it in, wasn't no picture. Damn, Mabel, you're a psychic. That's exactly what happened. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Well, damn, I wish I had known you needed a TV sooner. I got the hookup. My boy Booster Billy from back in the day got him dirt cheap. Hey, you hear that, Smitty? Hey, Mabel can hook you up with another TV. This just Easy. gonna be another scam. Now nah, look at me. I'm sad, lonely, and TV-less. And on top of that, I missed my favorite show, The Old and the Rested. Hey, Smitty, man, look, it's not the end of the world, man. I mean, people get hustled all the time. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it? No, no, uh, nothing you can do about nothing it. Nothing you can do about it. I don't know what side of the tracks you grew up on, Kenny, but where I come from, we don't let people get away with no one-sided hustle. Now, see, if that happened to me, 
I'd hog tie him, put him in the trunk of that baby blue drop top coupe de ville. They'd have been hollering for help. Help me, help me. But what am I supposed to do now, Mabel? You can act like a man. It's easy. You out hustle the hustler. Well, how am I supposed to do that? He's obviously a professional con artist. And you are obviously a professional fool. Now, do sound like an amateur. Selling TVs off the back of a truck, that ain't no real hustle. Nine times out of 10, he'll be in the same spot tomorrow. Mm. So should I go back there and pretend to get hustled again? Nope, I got a plan. Kenny, would you happen to have some crutches by chance? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, you just don't meet nice people these days, man. I mean, here I am, I got a busted TV, a busted leg, and here you go, give me a great deal and help me bring it up. Man, I appreciate you, dog. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. You know what, well, we gotta stick together, man. Yeah, man, you know, you can't trust anything these days, especially the banks, you know? Mm. And that's why I keep all my money in my sock drawer. Mm. You said you keep all your money in your sock drawer? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like all of it, all of it? Like checkings, ass savings, too? All of it, all of it. I feel you. I understand. <clears throat> you know, and even my jewelry, man. Same spot. Yep. Jewelry, too? Yeah, man. Sock what? Mm -hmm. So you probably got that, like, in a safe around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Safe right under my bed. Along with my gold chains, my titanium rolly. Basically, all of my expensive items, you know, okay. right there. Okay, so you mean to tell me all that just sitting right under the bed for anyone to stick? I mean, for anyone not to steal. Yeah, man, you already know, bro. That's crazy. Is that right? Uh, well, uh, where else do you have some of your expensive stuff? I'm trying to get some ideas for my place. Oh, well, let me help you out. Well, uh, see, I have some stuff in the couch, in the walls, and basically, I got money scattered all over this place. You know uh, what I'm saying? That's why I'm balling. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the body here. Okay. That's crazy. Uh, before. You ain't, you got, I know you got like an alarm system that just like lock all this stuff no, down. No, no, we just got neighborhood dogs, neighborhood dogs. That's all we got. You know what? Yeah, That's man. All you need, really. <laughs> hey, 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 before you go, hey, do you mind putting my spare key under the mat? You know, just in case I forget my original, I know exactly where I put my spare, you know? Boy, <laughs> me too. You know what? You smart. Yeah. You smart. That hey, boy crazy. Man, got to. That boy hey, crazy. Man, watch my TV now. You know what? Huh? I wish all my customers were as smart as you. Oh, man, good luck with that. <laughs> Ooh, all right, man, here we go. Mm. That's right, now all of the ice sculptures will be here on Monday, right? Okay, perfection. Ooh, guys, it's gonna be perfect. I have everything planned up for your big day. You are gonna ride in on a golden horse-drawn carriage while fireworks are blazing behind you, not to mention the seven-course meal, the White Tigers, interpretive dancer, and a performance by Cher. Oh, this is gonna be my dream wedding. Yes, Lord. Emphasis on your dream. Besides, we cannot afford all that. I, I, I don't think anybody can. Jay's. Right. Yeah. yeah, this does exceed our budget. Oh, it's always about budget this, budget that. Everything ain't always about money. <laughs> How else do you think we're gonna pay you then? Well, Flavio suggested that you two cut your honeymoon budget in half, and instead of flying down to Cancun, you take a nice little trip down to Tijuana. <laughs> what? It's still Mexico. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Percy, <laughs> uh, we're trying to work with you here, but this is starting to become a bit extra. Uh, and your point, Cheryl? The point is, you're going overboard. It's just a wedding. This is not just a wedding, Jay. This is my wedding, and I'm not gonna let some bride and groom that's ungrateful ruin my chance of becoming the black David Tutera. Oh, 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 and I'm not gonna God. let some enthusiastic wedding planner cause me to go bankrupt. Ooh, you know what, Jay? You just love to cut corners. No wonder you're a barber. You have no taste, no style, and you definitely ain't got no class. Oh, mercy, please. Percy, please, me, Cheryl, okay? I can't believe I even agreed to do this for you two for free anyway, over here acting crazy. Now it's time. I did not want it to come to this, but you gotta bounce. You gonna pick that up? Excuse me? 
excuse me, did you hear a traitor talking? Because I think I did. Uh, okay. How long are you going to have this attitude? Probably longer than that weave of yours. <laughs> How many times I got to say I'm sorry? Yeah, think about it. Okay, look, I know how much this wedding means to you. But come on, Jay and I need to stay on budget. <sighs> what if I told you I was a little impressed by your work? Hmm. Some of it. You were? Of course I was. Be. Come on, I know how creative and fun you are. Hmm. But now, look, kind of went a little overboard, don't you think? I didn't go all that overboard. Okay, maybe just a little bit, girl. <laughs> Okay, I went a lot overboard, but I was just trying to make sure that you had a good wedding. Everybody knows that Percy is a genius, a visionary, and a dreamer, girl. And I was just trying to see if maybe being a wedding planner was my calling. Aww. Well, maybe wedding planning isn't your true call. But maybe being my maid of honor can be. <gasps> really, girl? Oh, my God! Are you serious? As a lemon drop. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Look, we're going to do it real big for you, girl. I'm going to get you an off-white dress, but I'm going to wear these patent leather boots and this silk top hat. Hey! We'll get you something, too. And don't forget, I got the entertainment on lock. I'm going to call Flavio and the boys and have them... Mm-mm. And I knew you had left the spare key under the mat, uh -huh. so I came like to replace the remote. Oh. oh, oh, that's it. I swear. Oh man, we thought you came up in here to steal Kenny's money and jewelry like we had set you up to do. Yeah, man. Look, that was really cool for you to do that, though. I mean, you could have picked a better time to bring it to my house, but yo, it's the thought that counts, brother. Hey, good look. It's my bad. My bad. You know what? For, for all y'all troubles. I'm going to replace the whole thing, the TV. I got a 55 inch. No, you know what? 65 inch. 65? Yeah. Yeah, on me. It's real HD and everything. Hot there. Oh. Yeah, so uh, it's actually downstairs. Okay. Wait, it's already on. going to bring it 65 inch back. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah, Bluetooth and Wi Fi. Ooh. Everything. Oh, I like something with teeth. <laughs> so I can just go get that if y'all just let me. Man, no problem, I'm brother. I'm back the remote, Okay, too. okay, thank Thanks. you. You're coming right back, right? Right back, I swear. Right back. <laughs> That's a nice young man. Yeah. They don't make them like that no more, no. Kenny. All these young boys out here stealing, lying, wearing their pants down. Miss Mabel, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Saving y'all asses from getting hustled again. What? This boy is Booster Billy's son, Booster Billy Jr. I've been knowing him ever since he was born. Ain't that right, Booster Billy? Yes, Miss Mabel. What you got to say to them? Speak the, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I tried to hustle y'all. That was wrong. I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm just trying to make a living out here, man. It was, it was sweet. You were sweet. OK, I said no. You got that right. Now, you give them gentlemen they money back. All of it? All of it. This ain't $600. How you didn't even count? It's, I'm not gonna feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> that's how much I owe him, I swear, right? Oh, right. oh no, you know how it go. Mabel got to get her cut. <laughs> oh, your daddy would appreciate me taxing you. <laughs> My ties an offering, miss. I'm gonna try to hustle a hustle. Uh, it's either that or I can call the cops. I can do that, they know me. Yeah, you, you know what? Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Here y'all go. Now you get a move on. Or I'll call your big mom. 
Yeah. Tell her I see her at the prayer meeting. <laughs> Miss Mabel, that was amazing. You're a hero. <laughs> and his villain. What can I say? I keep my ear to the street so I know who's ass to be. <laughs> hey, so what do we do now? Well, we can go to my place and watch the season finale of The Old and Rested. Ooh, I'm in. You know, Jessica is pregnant with twins, and one of them ain't here. Oh, Mabel! <laughs> my bad. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Nothing is gonna ruin my day. Ah, damn. I spoke too soon. There's my brother. Uh... You still haven't grown into that head, I see. <laughs> Never too late, you know. Yeah. Well, are you gonna ask me in or not? Or not. Oh. Get crazy. Oh, my God. I lost a little bit of weight. And your manners. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Please, do come in. When'd you get here anyway? An hour ago. Figure I would just pop in on you, and that way I wouldn't have to entertain the idea of you telling me you're not at home. Yeah, well, that's a great plan. You know me well. <laughs> so uh, I guess I should ask, what brings you here anyway? Can't I just want to see my big brother? I mean, spend some quality time. I. I'm sick and tired of the East Coast, and I want to be near family. Please tell me you have a secret family that I don't know about, so it doesn't mean me. <laughs> You're my only brother, uh, my only family. Yeah, fortunately for you, and unfortunately for me. You know what? I'm getting older, and I decided that maybe it's time for me to meet a nice man. Well, uh, thank you for the nice man compliment, but uh, I'm your brother, and in most states, that's illegal. <laughs> anyway, what makes you think you can just get off a plane and, and, and find a man? I, I got 15 numbers on the way over here. Uh, oh, come on, look. I got all the time in the world. I'm buying a new condo, and I just need a place to crash until it's ready for me to move in. Yeah, well, I hear there's a availability at the homeless shelter right down the street. <laughs> What would mom and dad say if they heard you say that I couldn't stay with my own brother in my time of need? Well, they, they would say that he's finally using his brain. That's what they would say. Look. All right. All right. You, you can stay with me for a short while. E your emphasis on the short. Now, you better act like you got some sense. Oh, now, man. got some bags out there. I need you to go and drag them in while I go freshen up. Party people! What's up, everybody? I don't know about the rest of these brothers, but I'm in misery. What's wrong? You still got that boil on your ass? Look, I told you, you need to start drinking alkaline water. No, smart ass. Thelma's in town. Thelma? Yeah. Come good times. At your place. Yeah. Man, you know, I always had a crush on her, man. Mm. And it's crazy, that's her name in real life, too. You know, I wonder if she still talks to JJ and Michael. Or is it Roger Rerun? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Fool, no, that's the wrong show. But no, I'm talking about Thelma, your aunt. Oh, yeah. oh, right, right, right. You know, that, that makes more sense, man. You think? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's great. You know, because last time she was here, we had such a great time, and, and y'all squashed your family differences. Yeah, man, was, yeah, was, yeah. Was... But she's back in town, and she's crashing at my place. <laughs> she's my sister, and I love her, but uh, she and I, under the same roof, is like water and hot fish grease. Mm. That sounds like a delicious meal waiting to happen. No, 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 no. There's bound to be a fire of some kind. Hey, hey, Smitty. Smitty. Hey, Smitty, are, are you all right, man? Of course I'm all right. Don't I look all right? No, you look like you're in need of an alibi, and I, for one, am not going to be it. 
Can a man come up in this place of business without people getting all up in his business? Well, excuse us for not wanting to be implicated in uh, whatever you're involved in. Implications? Who said anything about implications? Okay, look like somebody really has a big chip on their shoulder. Oh, see, that's your second mistake. They don't put chips in the shoulder, they put it in the hand. Do your research, young, and I can't teach you everything. Right, right, okay. It looks like you have really lost it this time. Speaking. Yeah, I, 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 yo, man, I have to agree with Kenny. You're, you're acting crazier than normal. Crazy? Yeah. You think I'm acting crazy? Well, I he's just... the one talking about chips. I just said I don't feel like eating. <clears throat> uh, Jay. Can you look out for my customers for me for the rest of the day? I gotta go. But gotta go, man. You literally just got hey, here. Hey, hey, don't rile crazy people. <laughs> it just makes them crazier. Yeah, Smitty. <laughs> Get some help. No, I mean, I, I, I will help you. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. You're a good friend. All right. Tic Tac. Auntie! <laughs> Auntie, baby! So good to see you! So good to see you too, Auntie. Auntie, I can't read. I can't read, Auntie. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, baby. Oh, I'm just so happy to see you, so. Happy to see you too. Wow, I see you put together a feast fit for kings, huh? Yeah, cooked on the king's brand new copper pots and pans, so doubt. <laughs> well, what did you expect me to use? Them beat up pots you got? Some old skillets look like they were used to cook the last supper. Well, uh, Cheryl, my fiance, wanted to be the first person to cook on them. You know what? <laughs> I messed up again. I can never, ever live up to your standard. Look, like what I do. <laughs> it, it's not that. It, it's just that you're, you're always doing the most. Oh, come on, ease up, Jay. I mean, Auntie's just looking out for us. Look, don't even try to talk to your daddy. He's always been a complainer. Now, pots and pans are made to cook out of, not for decoration. Ooh, it's a wonder how he ever got that girl to commit to him and marry. You know, that's what I'm Any saying. Purpose, I, <laughs> I mean, uh, that's, that's not funny. No, it's uh, not. Look, look, man, let's, let's just forget about the whole, you know, pots and pans thing and, and, and just embrace this moment. Look, Jay. The food looks amazing, and, and we're here together as a family? Yeah, all right, all right, I guess you're right. Enjoy these two moments you have together. You never know how good you guys had it. Yeah, well, uh, please elaborate on your idea of good. I mean, man, well, you, you got your fiance, your, your sister, your employees, your son. I mean, growing up, man, it was just, you know, me and mom's for dinner, you know? It's, it's, Oh, God. Way to bring the room down, Kenny. You want to talk about how you were bullied in school and didn't have any friends? Two <laughs> problems. Don't listen to him, Kenny. You're with family now, where copper pots and pans are made for cooking and not looking. Okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, family. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Kenny, you know what? You should take some time, you and Thelma, to get to, to, to bond and, and hang together. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, yeah. It'll give us a chance to catch up on some lost time. Yeah, I mean, what, what are you thinking, Jay? Yeah, well, um, uh, Thelma, why don't you crash at Kenny's place? You know, while your place is being done. Oh, I don't know, impose. No, no, it's no imposition at all. I mean, you know, Angelique's out of town for the week, and <laughs> it's just me at home. You know? And I know you can sure use some of that good old cooking yeah. gas. Oh, you mean I can use the extra 15 pounds? Because that is exactly what would happen if you cook for me like that every day. Well, look, you can sure use some more meat on them bones. Oh, is a family great. Always there when you need them. <laughs> he sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, too. Sounds nephew. better to me. I mean, it sounds great. Then it's settled. Thelma, let me help you with your things. Oh, wait, can you eat first? Eat. <laughs> Eating food is overrated. Uh, and plus, it digests better when you're on the run. What? There you what? go. Come on. Wait, wait, there wait, you go. Uh, hold it. All right. Oh, I hear that. But who would have won? Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali? <laughs> I'll tell you who would have won. George Foreman. Oh, yeah, Big George would have cleaned up making them chicken dinners on that Foreman grill. <laughs> hey, what about Smoking Joe? 
What you been smoking? This conversation's about Tyson and Ali. Oh, forget about Tyson. Ali would have beat the bite out of that boy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you would know uh, being that little Tony from the neighborhood knocked out your two front teeth when you were kids. Oh! <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> nothing, man, nothing. No, 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 you said it. Say it ain't so, Jay. Oh, 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 it's so. And apparently that was uh, Jay Striller and his griller. That's why he went across his neck. Who told you this? Did I mention that uh, Tony from the neighborhood was a girl? Oh, no! Oh, no! You got your ass whooped by a girl? What you try to do? Steal an easy bake oven? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> Make fun at my expense. <laughs> I just have one question to ask. <laughs> Who told you this? Look, look, look Jay, man. Look, I, I, I can't give up my sources, man, but I would love to give my father some boxing advice, you know? Protect yourself at all times and pop! <laughs> Thelma. Thelma. Uh-oh, gotta go. Party time's over. Uh, late for a meeting, guys. Talk to you later. Mm. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? Smitty's been tripping lately, man. Yeah, he's not the only one that's been tripping. I'm gonna have to have a little talk with my sister. Ah, oh, come on, Jay, man, don't do that. Look, it was just a bunch of fun facts that just happened to come up, man. And, you know, I have to admit, I, I was a little curious as to why your two front teeth was a little bit wider than the other ones, though, man. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you don't smile much, you know. <laughs> it's because of... <laughs> Let me get back to this fade. Oh, I'm here. Oh. What's the emergency? Uh, did Cheryl dump you because you were too cheap? No, don't your mouth. Why are you leaking privileged information about Tony to the public? Privileged information? Yes. Ah, uh, what public? You, uh, you know, you are not a celebrity. You are just regular ass Jay. So I'm gonna need for you to bring it down. No. Oh, uh huh. I'm gonna need you to bring it all the way down, unless you want me to go ask Tony if she's ready for round two. Look, it wasn't your business to tell. And for your information, I am a bit of a celebrity around these parts. <laughs> I am Jay, the dream weaver. I'm gonna need for you to let that go, okay? Let it go. It's been 30 years. Stop being so petty. I'm being petty? I'm being petty? How would you like it if I told your nephew, Kenny, that you got caught shoplifting at the mall when we were kids and you had to spend the whole summer in juvenile hall? How would you like that, huh? Huh? You wouldn't. Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, all right. Look, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Who steals acid wash jeans? I meant I was sorry for telling Kenny. Ah, uh, my bad. Speaking of Kenny, I gotta have a conversation with him. Him and that little girlfriend of his. You know what? I found out some stuff I don't even want to mention. I do. Well, I you know, I was straightening up his room the other night, and I found whips, chains, and leather. <laughs> what? But you didn't hear that from me. Oh, yeah, of course not. I'm not gonna say a word about it. And your anything. friend Smitty? He's with a cult. <laughs> what? What What are you talking about? Look. The other night, when I was... Oh, never mind what I was doing. But I saw two men escorting him to a car with a pillowcase over his head. Well, why didn't you call the police? Because, like I said, I didn't have nothing to do with it. It wasn't my business. Oh, well, it's never stopped you before. Damn. Oh, Smitty. Game coming up tomorrow. You, uh, you want to roll? Oh, no, I can't, Jay. Uh, I got a date. All right, Mr. Lover, Lover Man. What's her name? Indonesia Jenkins. Indonesia Jenkins? What kind of name is that? Kind I'm going out on a date with, not you. Any other nosy-ass questions? Oh, my bad. Hey, man, I'll leave it alone. Leave okay. It alone. Indonesia Jenkins? Look, that's her middle name, all right? Her first name is, is, uh, is, is Rebecca Denise. Smitty, why does she have two first names? She's French. Wait, wait, so her her name is Rebecca Denise Indonesia Jenkins? That's right. Look, look at her, look at her. I ain't got to explain myself to you. <laughs> it says the man with the secret life. What, what are you talking about? 
Oh, wouldn't you like to know, Mr. Chains and Whips? Chains and Whips? Is that a slavery reference? What's I this have no idea what you're into. Oh, I'm into finding out what the hell you're talking about. Well, me too, since you think my life is such a secret. I'm an open book. <laughs> oh, are you so sure about that, Mr. Rebecca Denise Indonesia Jenkins? She's French. Oh, Smitty, you're in a cult. Who said that? Only the biggest mouth in town. That damn, damn Thelma. Thelma. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, don't stick up on me like that again. Auntie, look, why does everybody seem to think that I'm a, a freak? Look. What you and your lady do in your bedroom is your business and nobody else's. Uh, no Thelma without the drama. Excuse me? I'm in a cult. <sighs> he admits it. Whips and chains? Look, don't let nobody judge you, baby. All my teeth are the same color. Mm hmm whenever your mouth is closed. <laughs> Look, I said it all. I said it all, I confess. I am not in a cult. Then why have you been leaving the shop so abruptly and acting all weird? Yeah, I right. can't tell you that. OK, well, then what about the two strange men and the pillowcases? As much as I would love to tell you, I cannot. Anyways, the whips and chains are part of me and Angelique's Halloween costumes. We are not freaks. At least the, not the kind of the weaponry stuff. Ah, <laughs> too much information. Or not enough. Go on. Yeah, Halloween. <laughs> Likely story. What? Hey, look, man, look, Halloween's my favorite holiday. Now, I'm sure it wasn't yours, Jay, being that you couldn't eat the candy with those two false teeth you got. <laughs> <laughs> you got two missing front teeth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, Jay, when you use your car clicker, do they go up like garage doors? Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You know, I, I bet you your brain is so small, it bounces around your head like a roulette wheel. <laughs> okay, okay, Bet stop. on black. <laughs> stop it. Now, look, I'm going to leave because I did not come here to cause all this disharmony and screw up your lives. You know what? That's exactly what you said to mama and daddy when they bailed your ass out for shoplifting sunglasses in China. <laughs> shoplifting in China. Hey, when you came in singing, Delma, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to make a record, but you already got one. <laughs> Yo, Kenny, uh, can I borrow some clipper oil? I don't have any. Oh, well, I would think you have lots of oil over there for your whips and chains to be lubed, you know? <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny, Jay. I thought it was a good one. Hey, you know what? I was thinking about uh, uh, getting a steak for lunch, man. You want me to see if they can chew yours up so uh, your teeth don't fall out when you bite into it? <laughs> or, or better yet, maybe I can get Tony to knock out the rest of your teeth so you can just gum it off. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. But, you know, it won't be necessary because I can call up Angelique to come down here and discipline you with one of her whips, you know, to get you back in line. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Look, Jay, you ain't even got to do all that. Look, huh. I just have Cheryl come over here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. She don't have to borrow mine because you already whipped. Is that right? <laughs> but you ain't wrong. You ain't I, I got my own place It's now. about time, but you still owe me money. I paid my bills. I paid my bills. Oh, 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 you two are arguing like third graders. Now, I can't tell the father from the son in the scenario. Really? He started it. Now, it's she started it. <laughs> and what are you even doing here, you, you work wrecker? OK, look, I deserve it. <laughs> but I come bearing gifts. There ain't nobody wants your stupid gifts. I, I do. Thank you, Auntie. You never could bake anyway. We used to use your cupcakes as hockey pucks. <laughs> How would you know, Jay? You couldn't even bite into a cupcake without your teeth turning little convertible fangs. <laughs> what are you even doing here? Look, I came to apologize. I never meant for this to get this mess. Yeah, well, uh, a couple of molded cupcakes is not going to solve that. Speak for yourself, Jay. Wait, hold up. Aren't you? Wait, blueberries not supposed to be green? I, I ain't put no blueberries or green berries in there. Oh, no. Look. I know it won't change anything, but it's a great start. Look, 
I'm sorry, big brother. Yes. Yo. Oh. Yes. We forgive you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, in that case, look, I got good news. Look, my new condo will be ready in one week. I can move in. Oh. So I just want to thank you. Yeah, for y'all be moving out soon. Hey, that's that's great. I mean, that's that's, that's wonderful. I mean, oh, oh no, no, no. See, look, not like that. I mean, you know, I'm 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 a young man, you know, and and, and hell, you you seen the whips and the chains? You know, I get you. Watch it. Just thinking, I think. Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. <laughs> so so many questions, so little time. What's the deal, Smitty? I can finally tell y'all what's been going on. You're in a cult. I am not in a cult. Yeah. I've been going through the secret rituals of joining the Armadillo Lodge and becoming a member. And now it's finally official. Bam! Oh, I'm in. Oh. Congratulations, Smitty. Look, but tell me something. What was up with the pillowcases? That's the secret I still have to keep. What is it all about? Oh, who the hell cares? I just like the hats. And the refreshments they serve at the weekly meetings ain't half bad either. Huh? <laughs> hey, congratulations, Smitty. Hey, so um, what is Rebecca Denise Indonesia Jenkins? How, how does she feel about everything? Uh, man, he made her up, obviously. I did not make her up, thank you very much. Stop playing. She broke up with me. You see, her husband had some of his goons come by and put a pillowcase over my head and rough me up a little bit. So obviously, I'm not going to be spending time with her. Right. The French people don't mess around. No, they don't. <laughs> well, at least now you can get the Lodge brothers to, to help protect you. Oh, yes, you're right. And speaking of protection, you know, Thelma, <laughs> I heard that your place won't be ready for a week or so. So you're welcome to stay in my apartment until your place is ready to move into. Oh. Smitty. I might just take you up on that offer. Oh, oh. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. How did you know that? Yeah, I, she told us before you came in here. The Lodge knows all. <laughs> and we can make some secrets of our own. <laughs> Shut your mouth and keep on talking. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> There is no debate, son. Mayweather beat McGregor in the ring fair and square. I just want to see Mayweather try his hands at MMA. He's not going to do it. He's not stupid. Man. <laughs> he wants to stay undefeated, right, Smitty? Smitty? Smitty, wake your ass up! What? Did you fall asleep standing up? No. Okay, then, then what were we talking about? Uh, women? <laughs> no, man, we were talking about the MMA. That's what I was saying, is that um, women should be able to fight in the MMA. Man, they do let women fight in the MMA. See? About time. <laughs> I gotta be honest, Smitty. It seems like something is really up. I mean, this isn't the first time you fell asleep at work. Yeah, you fell asleep last week, yesterday, and damn it, Smitty, you're asleep right now. I don't want to go to school no. tonight. Wait, Smitty, are, are you sure you're getting enough sleep? Uh, yeah, well, for the most part. Well, what do you mean by for the most part? Well, uh, for most of my life, yes, but for the last month or so, no, I haven't been really getting any sleep. Look, Smitty, that's very serious. Look, I don't know what the big deal is. So I get a little tired in the afternoon. It's all part of getting older. It ain't like nothing bad. Oh! 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 oh. Hey! Hey! Oh. <laughs> all right. Uh, haircuts on the house, Patches. Hey! 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 Okay. Yeah, right this way, man. All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Smitty! Who's next? No! 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 Have a seat. Have a seat. I got this. Let me. Let me have that. Yeah. Mm, look at Jesus. Lady Luck is riding with me tonight. She fickle. She fickle. She'll leave you at the altar. Well, I'm gonna give her 20. I'm raising 20. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll call. Uh, no, that's, that's too rich for my blood. I can't do it. Smitty! Call in! What? <laughs> you must have been dreaming. If you think you can bluff old Rufus over here. 
I call. Ah, I'm definitely out. I got a full house. Ooh. Oh, well, they say diamonds are forever. I got a six, a seven, a eight, a nine. Oh, a twelve. You just got Jack. Jack. <laughs> Where's my rent money? Smitty, why the hell would you bet your rent money? Well, he's my landlord. He's going to get it anyway. All you... right, gentlemen, this looks like a good place to uh, call the night, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What you talking about, man? Hey, the, the night is young. Come on, oh, Kenny. Now you got to give me a chance to win back some of my money. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Maybe just a little bit longer. OK, yeah, just a little cool, longer. Cool, 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 no problem, no problem. Oh, hey, give me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Kenny. Hmm? What you doing with that phone? Uh, uh, no, nothing, man. I'm just uh, sitting here, you know, checking uh, my work emails. Work emails? We been getting work emails? I didn't send no damn work emails. No, no. I mean, I'm checking check spam emails, man. I'm just, I'm just deleting them. You know? <laughs> See, I might know what I know, yeah. but I know what I know, <laughs> and I know. He's right now checking in with his woman. No, he ain't, he ain't doing that. What are you doing? Yeah, not over yeah, poker. Yeah, you can't yeah, check in with yeah, a woman yeah. over poker. It's, it's, You're not it's, checking in with your woman, are you? What you doing, man? No, I'm not going. I'm just, I'm just checking in with with Angelique. Letting her know, let her know I'm be, you know, a little late. Ah. Just... <laughs> you, you letting her know to make sure that it ain't a problem. What? <laughs> Come on, man. It's not even like that. Yeah. Come on, hey, Jay, man, wouldn't you let Cheryl know if you was going to be staying out late? Bruh, it's late now. You don't see me cowering in the corner asking Cheryl for permission. No, brother, no. <laughs> Look here, young brother. Well, when you establish a relationship with go. a woman, uh -huh. you have to understand how it goes. Preach, preach. When you give her an inch while you're dating her, what's what she going to do? She going to take a mile if you're married. There you go. Come Hey, look, I won't check in. Let's play some poker. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Kenny. Whoa! Whoa, Angelique! You scared me. Oh, I scared you. How the hell do you think I felt all night? Where have you been? Uh, okay, well, so so here's the thing. Uh, after work, uh, me and Jay went down to a, a church event. Church event? Yes, 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 yes. Praise Jesus, man. That minister was it. Woo. Up with choir and everything, and, uh, and actually we, we uh, serve soup uh, to, to the homeless. You and Jay serve soup to the homeless? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, we, we actually made more than we planned, so uh, things went a little bit later than we anticipated, because, you know, we, we just couldn't turn away any any hungry homeless people, you know what I'm saying? That'd be rude. That would be unchristian, <laughs> yeah. like lying. Yeah, ex exactly, unchristian, and, and, you know, I wanted to call you to let you know uh, you where I'd be. You wanted to call me. Yeah, I did, I did very much so, because I didn't want you to worry. You know, I didn't want you to worry, so then I, I went out and I picked my phone up, my, my battery died, and there was only one charger. And so there was this homeless man, we had like an interview tomorrow, the next day. So I said, hey man, you you go ahead and you you use that. You charge your phone up, man. You you get that job. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a homeless guy with a smartphone mm -hmm. at a church where you and Jay were serving soup all night mm -hmm. to the homeless. Yes. Okay, so I just have one question for mm -hmm. you, Kenny. Yes. Who is she? What? Who the hell what? is she? And she better say the Virgin Mary, what? and she better still what, 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 be what, what, what a virgin. What are you talking about? Look, look, is she? Look, I know you were not some church, so just look, tell look, me. Look, who I, are you what, with? What, what, what the hell are you talking about? Who are you with? But look, I was with nobody, no one. OK, hey, look, look, OK, uh, look, I, I, I was with Jay. I was playing poker with Jay all night with Jay, playing poker. Huh? Do you know why I believe you? Because. If you were cheating on me, you would have come up with a better lie than that. Look, I swear I was just playing poker. Here's what I don't understand, because I don't have a problem with you playing poker all night, but why lie about that? I don't know. I, I thought you'd be mad. Well, I'm mad. I, well, I'm mad. Why the hell can you just check in with me? Because I'm a grown man. I didn't realize I had to check in. OK, you don't have to do anything, but it's a common courtesy, Kenny. I'm not trying to control you. But why is it even a big deal, Angelique? Okay, the fact that you don't think this is a big deal makes this an even bigger deal. Look, man, why are you even at my place if I'm not here? Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. What? Huh. Oh. Oh. oh, get comfortable. You know, I will get comfortable, Kenny. You know, I know this is hard for you to believe because you don't seem to think about anyone but yourself, but when you didn't answer my calls or my texts, I got worried about you. So I came over here to check on you. I hope the homeless guy's name is Tyrone because you're gonna need to call him. You will not see me anymore. <laughs> 
Angelique! Yo, Jay, man, I think I'm wrong about this. I should have never listened to you about this checking in. No, 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 man. First off, you are absolutely right to not check in. Uh -huh. It is your right as a man to be where you want for as long as you want. And second off? Second off, even if you're wrong, never admit it. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent, son. No, I thought that was for the police. Well, uh, the same thing applies to dealing with a woman as dealing with the police. You, you, you never admit anything. You keep your hands where you can see them at all times. <laughs> One false move, they'll shoot you down. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Oh! Hey, 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 hey,
baby, you stay right there. I'll handle this. I can't believe you're really gonna stay there. I thought you said you could fight. Well, it's good to know I can't count on you to have my back in an emergency. I got it. Hey! I'm a barber! I carry a razor blade with me at all times. Ah. Don't hurt somebody. You can't even hit a ball. How you gonna hit one of us? Hey, huh, what? How did you guys get in here? I know I had that lock. I used to live here, remember? Well, if you had your key, why were you banging on my door? Anyway, what is going on? Wait, wait, wait. Did we catch you at a bad time or something? Yes, yes, you did. Well, that's too bad, because we got problems. And you always said our problems is your problems. No, I did not say that. What I said was keep your personal problems away from me right. and the barbershop. Tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> It's tomato, tomato. What you mean? You said tomato twice. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes. What is your problems? I can't sleep, Jay. Well, can you not sleep at your place? No, Rufus kicked me out for making too much noise. Okay, well, look, look, sometimes when I can't sleep, I, I just make myself a snack, and since we're here, you... That's a good idea. I bet Cheryl got something good in there. Oh, hell. I always heard her cook. Ooh, ribs. Oh, that is good. It ain't make me sleepy, but it sure is good. Give me this. You got some potato salad? Look, look, look Jay, Jay, look, I, I got bigger problems, man. Bigger problems than two grown-ass men busting through your door at night oh. unannounced? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, way bigger. Look, I haven't heard from Angelique all night. Didn't she tell you she was going after dinner with some friends? Yeah, but dinner would have been over a long time ago. Well, maybe they went for a drink afterwards. No, no, look, any bar or club will be closed by now. Look, I'm freaking out, Jay. I don't know where she is. Oh, who she's with. Oh, damn, man. You, you think she's cheating on me? No, 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 no. I, I didn't say that. Maybe she out with her baby daddy. Oh, come on, Smitty. Man, her baby daddy's dead, man. Ooh, creeping on you with a ghost. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought you was her boo. Damn. Get out. Get out! The both of you. Out! 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 out, out. This ain't how you treat people that you love, Jay. Good morning, Kenny. Mm. Oh, oh, hey, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Mm. Oh. Wait, Angelique, where have you been all night? Oh, I just went down to the grocery store. I wanted to get a little breakfast surprise, a little bacon, eggs, pancakes. Sound good? No, no I, I didn't mean just now. Kenny, you all right? You, you seem a little bit upset. No, you know damn well why I'm upset. Where have you been all night? Kenny, I told you. Me and some girlfriends from high school, we went to dinner. Oh, babe, we went to this great little sushi spot. We had these soft-shell crab legs. They were out of this world. Man, we cut the chase. Look, but after dinner, I mean, where'd you go? Who was you with? Okay. I'm not really sure where all of the aggression is coming from, but since you'd like to know, I went home. Home. And? And, uh, well, I did a little reading, then I went to sleep. And you couldn't read any of my texts? Did you not have your phone? I did. Okay, then why didn't you, you didn't see any of my missed calls or texts? I did, when I woke up next to a bottle of I'm grown. I'm gone. Okay, good, okay, good. Um, Angelique, look, why, why didn't you let me know if you were all right? I'm, I'm sorry. Let me see if I am understanding this correctly. Do you expect me to check in? No, I, that's, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Because it sounds like you're wanting me to check in. No, I was just, I was, you know, just wanting to know if you were all right. I mean, okay. maybe there was an accident. Mm -hmm. You know, I was worried. Oh, so to not worry you, I should have checked in. Okay, look, I, n maybe not, I wouldn't phrase it in that mm -hmm. way, okay? But, you know, I don't think it would hurt much. Because it's a common courtesy, Kenny. Yeah, it's a common it's courtesy. It's gonna like when you're out playing poker, Kenny. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I, I should've checked in. I should've checked in. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. That was really low. Can you say it again, please? I, said, I, said, I should've checked in, damn it, okay? Wow, yeah. thank goodness. Oh, baby. I just... You want to know why I love you so much? Because you are willing to admit when you are wrong. Mm -hmm. Then why don't you go and whip us up some breakfast? I am starving. What? I thought th 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 you were making breakfast. Oh, so we're thinking now. Well, surprise, you're making it. <laughs> but you know what? 
I'll make you some coffee. Okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, could you, uh, hold the whip? Hold the whip? Yeah. Angelique. Hey, baby, just checking in. Let you know I made it into work. Want to let you know that. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Morning, Jay. What the hell was that? I was just checking in with Angelique. And you know, I think you're wrong about this whole checking in thing. I mean, it's respectful and convenient. Making it impossible for you to ever go to a strip joint? Look, I said I was checking in. Not that I'm always going to be exactly where I say I'm at. You know what I'm oh, lying. That's a great foundation for any relationship. Mm. Oh, look, you know, baby, take me back already. Kenny, you don't have to always check in every time you're doing anything. Psh. Mary, text Angelique back. Nonsense. I love checking in. And a uh, matter of fact, I'm moving from my station to the bathroom. Yes. And I'll be in there for a while. Hey, hey yo, Jay. Hey, uh, throw me one of those newspapers. Ah. Too much information. Hey, Smitty. <laughs> Smitty, you okay? Smitty, what, what are you doing, man? You stealing my customer in front of me? Yeah, Smitty, are you, are you sleepwalking? Yo, man. Yo, Smitty, Smitty. <laughs> Wake up. Wake the hell up. Smitty! Why don't you wake me up for Jay? Damn! Because you were sleepwalking. I don't care if I was sleepwalking, running a jog, and I was sleeping. All right, all right. Uh, I'm putting your ass to bed. Uh, Kenny! Uh, I'm checking in. Listen, man, we're going to Smitty's place, all right? Now, you have a customer to finish when you're finishing there. Come on. Hey, Jay, man, there's no paper in here. Yeah, well, use the sports section. Your team's playing like boo-boo anyway. Come on. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. All right. Here we go. All right. And to the right. Thanks for everything, Jay, but it's no use. I think I'm just going to be awake for the rest of my life. Smitty, it is humanly impossible to stay awake forever. Well, them doctors don't know everything. Uh, when my uncle had his accident, they told him he'd never walk again. And did he? Yeah, well, he didn't learn to walk with his legs, but he walked with his hands. <laughs> All right, so the example you gave about the doctors not always being right, uh, the doctors were right. Oh, well, he walked on his hands, Jay. He even got little symbols and learned to tap dance with his fingertips. It was a miracle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Smitty. Look, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to enroll you in a sleep institute. You can't do that, Jay. Uh, They're going to plug me up to a machine and run tests on me like a lab rat. Nah, man. I, I think the problem is you, you've been trying so hard to sleep that the, the pressure of sleeping is keeping you up. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you a little story about my uncle, and this won't be made up like your, your story about your uncle walking on his hands. That's real, Jay. We can go down to the yeah, circus yeah, and yeah. see him right now. Yeah, listen. So anyway, my uncle, he was in love with this woman that worked at the coffee shop, right? And he tried everything he could to swoon her. Uh, flowers, chocolates, uh, mixtapes, you name it. <laughs> well, she wasn't giving him the time of day. He would even wait outside of her place and, and, and throw rocks at her window. Now that I say it out loud, it's, he sounds like a stalker. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Um, anyway, one day, he, he, uh, he gave up. He had enough. He, he found himself a new girlfriend, and he moved on. Really? Hey, Jay, you want to go with me to Mabel's for lunch? We could try her new roadkill special, southern fried rattlesnake and turtle tots with an extra crispy shell. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Yeah, I, I brought my lunch. Uh, Cheryl will pack some leftovers oh, for me. Oh, that's sweet, Jay. Nice lunch bag. Hey, Jay, can I trade you my applesauce for your pudding cup? How about my chocolate milk for your juice box? Smitty. How about my grilled cheese for your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? How about a knuckle sandwich, huh? Oh, come on, Jay. <laughs> Listen, I think it's sweet that she's already taking care of you. And the way you stand in there holding on to that little bit of pride that you got left <laughs> makes me convinced that you're not gonna just turn over your manhood Yo, once she moves in. Please, please, man. I, I am still the man. Yeah, I'm a married man and a happy man. A dead man. What? You got to get ready for some changes, Jay. Like, where you gonna put your clothes once she moves in? In my closet, where else? Wrong answer. She gonna take over your whole closet and your dresser. <laughs> but your car trunk will still make for a nice drawer. Just be sure to put your drawers on before you go outside to change. Your neighbors will appreciate that. <laughs> I am Jay the Dreamweaver. And that is my castle, and nothing is going to change. Okay. Hey, what's wrong with you, Kenny? I think I just witnessed a crime. What? A crime? Well, you know, you can always report it to me. Now, I may not be an active guardian, Knight, but you never put down the beret. <laughs> oh, uh, Smitty, just because you look like an extra in Breaking 2 doesn't mean you're anybody's guardian, Knight. Oh, this is serious business, Jay. So what was it, Kenny? A 1016? Domestic problem? Or a 1089? Bomb threat. No, no, no. See, I, I saw somebody breaking into a car. 1031. Oh. Crime in progress. Well, since I'm a volunteer, that's a little bit above my pay grade. But you know what we got to do? Let's call the police. Oh, no, no. That's not happening, Shabadoo. <laughs> Look, man, all I got to do is stay black and die. And I'm trying to push that last part off for as long as possible. Look, he didn't see me, and I didn't see him. Come hey, Kitty, that is not right. You, you're not thinking about the victim. That's because I'm not trying to be a victim, Jay. I mean, this is street code. You know, snitches get stitches. Talkers get walkers. You go to court, get your life cut short. Come on, man. He might be right, Jay. That man breaking into that car in broad daylight, that was bold and fearless. Yeah, and he was tall, built, and scary, man. Like, like the rock on steroids. And he might be crazy, too. <laughs> Ain't no telling what he'd do to you for reporting him. He might stick his foot so far up your ass, his toes will be tickling your tonsils. <laughs> but it's just heavy duty. Let's go. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hey, hey, Kenny, what if it was one of our cars? Look, man, I still wouldn't say nothing. Look, man, I, we cool and all, man, but I enjoy breathing way too much. What's wrong with him? Oh, uh, oh, Kenny, look, uh, there's a, a, a very muscular man coming this way. Oh, uh, yeah, and now he's running. He's moving fast. He's opening his jacket. He's, he's, he's pulling out. <laughs> Ah, uh, kill yourself. <laughs>
I thought you said you loved my place. Yeah, you said it was a cave of love. Well, yeah, it should look less like a cave and more like a chateau. <laughs> you know, we're not roommates. We're a couple. And this space should reflect our combined taste. Infused with passion. Intertwined with... <laughs> I didn't know redecorating could be so tiddly. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Look. You'll let me spruce things up a little bit. Come on, I won't do too much, I promise. I just do a little something right here. Uh, a little something. Like this. <laughs> yeah, and then after we get it all just right, uh, we can christen our home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, 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 Jay! Oh, you done did it now. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, you what? What? Hey, man, there is nothing wrong with the pillow there and a throw over here, you know? That's what she said now. But before long, we're not gonna be able to walk on your floors, eat off your plates, and sit on here. your couch. You're gonna turn into one of them bougie brothers wants us to use coasters while we're watching the game. Well, I do want you to use coasters now. See? It'll <laughs> change already. <laughs> Come on, man. She is not gonna change things that much. Look, she appreciates my sense of style, and she just wants to add her delicate touch to it. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. As I was saying, compromise. Mm-hmm. Did she convince you this while y'all was naked? <laughs> None yet. <laughs> Look, man, a, a real man can handle his space and his woman. All right, good. Exactly. All right. Maybe it will work out. Uh-huh. I mean, I had an old girlfriend move in with me one time. She started talking about something called feng shui. Oh! <laughs> Cheryl mentioned the same thing. Well, see, before I realized that it wasn't the number 20 at Mr. Lee's Golden Walk, <laughs> she had already replaced my velvet Afro lady poster no. with the Mona Lisa, my Lola Falana glass collection with some crystal flutes, and it moved all my stuff over to my new room. What? Where, where's your new room? Unit number 203 at the downtown <laughs> mini store. You know, those metal containers got pretty good acoustics. Made my elder bard sound like Barry White. <laughs> yeah, man, well... We are gonna do things a little different. I'm sure you are, Jay. I mean, it's not like Cheryl has ever shown any signs of being bossy or controlling. I mean, she is a woman, and we know they always do exactly what we want. <laughs> Ain't that right, Jay? Hey, Kenny, got a surprise for you. Oh, what's up? Check yourself, fool! Spitty, run! It's a thief, man. He sent one of his goons to snuff me out. Save yourself. Look, brother, man, just save my face so my mama can identify the body, okay? <laughs> hey, Kenny, I want you to meet Murder Money, a.k.a. Bruce St. James. He's an undercover detective and a good friend of Major's. Now, I told him you sink the crime and you wanted to remain unanimous, so he's here to help. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so, so, so how does this work, man? I, I, I tell you what I saw, then, uh, you report it without getting me involved, right? Right. Okay, okay, okay. This is so exciting. Thrilling, actually. Oh. I'm finally gonna get my first arrest. But, but you're a cop, man. You're chasing criminals every day. Well, not since I've been undercover for the past three years. Oh, 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 I get it. So you like working like a big case, like 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 deep cover. You know, like you know, Lawrence Fishburne infiltrating the enemy. I got you. No, my mark died a year ago choking on a chicken bone. But my sergeant hasn't called me back in, so I've been out here living this murder money, waiting for my big bust. Oh, and taking acting classes. Oh. Murder Money uses it as a form of expressive therapy. So you've been using the streets as your stage ever since. Brave, man. That's, 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 uh, that's kind of crazy, man. You know, there's a good chance they might have forgot about you. If I was you, I'll go look into that, bro. I, I, I will. Yeah. A after I get my newsworthy collar. You got a uh, pad and pen? Uh, you know, yeah, right there. Oh. So take your time, Kenny, and tell me exactly what you saw. Okay, all right, man, um, okay, uh, okay, it was dark. It was daytime. It, well, it was dark under the car I was hiding. You know, look, man, I don't know what he would have done if he'd have caught me, man, that's why I ran. Wait, so exactly how much blood was there? Did, did you see someone drag or hide the dead body? And, and what did you do with the gun? Did he, did he keep it? Uh, uh, body, gun, blood, look, I, I, I didn't, like, witness a murder, man. I just, I just saw somebody's car get broken into. You know, neighborhood watching. Good. You know, Smitty, I thought you said he saw someone lose their life. I said he saw someone and then went running for his life. I ran. I ran. 
Fast. Each one track. <laughs> the evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones. Ooh, that's powerful. Uh, what does that mean? That means I'm out. Call the cops. Oh, and by the way, Murder Money's going to be starring in Shakespeare's King Lear at the Regal Playhouse. Come out and support her, bruh. Bruh? Oh. Look like, like Akon. Akon? To pee or not to pee? That is my question. I'm gonna go spend a little time in the Regal myself. In the bathroom? What, what, what the hell? Shh. Did you just shush me in my home? Who, who the hell are you? Shoes off. Please, get out. Hey. Well, hey. Hey, baby, you're home a little early. Yeah. Uh, you didn't take your shoes off. Correct. And uh, what's going on here? And and what what do you have on? Do you like it? Oh, yeah. It's an aura robe. It's supposed to bring peace and tranquility into the room. My clothes were clouding Chef Lars' ability to hear the cries of the space. Space as in outer space? It's not the room. Furniture. Yeah, sure, all inanimate objects can't cry. <laughs> Have you been smoking? <laughs> Everything that exists lives. We all feel pain. We all cry. Oh, shit! <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, but, sweetheart, Chef Lar is the creme de la creme of interior designers. She is here to help me turn our place into a palace of style and serenity using the art of feng shui. All right, well, the interior design, it looks like more like an interior disaster. <laughs> oh, 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 the negative aura. I have found the source of this room's creative bounds, of its change. Oh, okay. You need to back up before I find the source of your pain. Mm. You to be nice. She's <laughs> crazy. She's not mm, mm, me. I have called in a lot of favors and I offered a lot of free weave to get her here. And she has a lot of great ideas. Just give her a try. She's uh, crazy. Look. <laughs> hey, uh, good. Because I have a lot to say to you. I... Not us. Uh, then who? Ooh, shh. You got one more yeah. time to shush me. Yeah. <laughs> She's crazy. She's listening to the furniture Look, to identify its true aesthetic needs. She's a looney tune. Yes, yes. So far, I hear you. All of it. It must go. What? What must go? My furniture? Yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I love my furniture. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Cheryl, uh, where are Huey and Newton? Where are my chairs, huh? Where are my wicker chairs? <laughs> Now, since when have you named inanimate objects, Jay? Since I bought them, buy one, get one free at the swamp meet. Ah, uh, Schlafar, I thought the chairs were too loud and too busy. Oh, did you? But this original Schlafar Napoli... Not too busy. Ah, it would balance the space. Mm. It will bring you peace. <laughs> I'm listening. You listen. Shh, shh. Listen. You can hear... Get the hell out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no need to calm down. Okay, you said you were open to new things. I am, baby. But uh, who knew we were going to be... No! 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 What? 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 It burned! No! What? What's going on? It's not for sitting. What is it for, then? It's a freaking chair! It's a car. Isn't it pretty? Oh, Shay. Shay. I sent your trepidation. You are daunted and threatened by your sexually balanced environment. <laughs> it's it's Jay. Uh, pronounce Jay. And what we do behind closed doors is none of your business. Oh, you have allowed your masculinity to dominate this space. <laughs> oh, God, with new paint. Lighting fixtures, window treatments, and furniture. We can get this entire space balanced and scented yet again. Oh. Yeah. Lady? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
There is nothing balanced about you. I want you out! No! Out! 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 out, out, out. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Now, you are overreacting. What? Sure, you're overstepping your bounds. Ah! Excuse me? No, what I meant to say is... No, you said what you meant. No. No. Bounds? See, I didn't know I was working with limitations here. I thought this was our place. It, it is, A baby. place that we're supposed to share together. It, yes, no, yes, No, because I guess holding on to this is more important than holding on to me. No, it, it's, look, it, sweetheart, you are overreacting. No. No, it, one doesn't have anything... It does! Because if you can't share your space with me, then you can't share your life with me. Y'all, well, fine. Fine, go on then. Get a piece stubborn. Go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. And take your furniture whisperer with you. That's you. Get out. Well, Sean Paul wants to know, will you be paying cash, check, or credit card for her services? Yeah, well, Shay would like to know if Shafa needs help finding the door. Get out. It's crooked! Oh, sweetie! Sweetie, it's him! It's him! It's the thief, man! Look, please, please, please have mercy, brother. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta have mercy. You ain't gotta hurt nobody, man! Look, I'm a 10th degree black belt. But sit down we hurt yourself. But I, I'll come quietly, man. I, I promise. Relax. Relax. Okay, relaxing. Relax. Relaxing. Ooh, soft hands. I just can't find out why you didn't call the cops. Because I'm determined to live long enough to see my kids, 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 and have kids. Look, man, look, brother, you, you ain't got to worry about me, man. I, I ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. He ain't gonna tell nobody nothing except for that police we brought up in here the other day. Man. Oh, I guess that should have been an interview. It should. Don't worry about it. You see, cuz, I saw you running, and I was hoping you reported. You did? Yeah, that was my car I was breaking into. What? I was trying to get the insurance money. Oh. Man, the investigation goes a lot quicker when you got a witness. Oh, man, I, I, I wish I would have known, man. I would have helped you out. As a former guardian knight, I find your deception disgusting. Really? Because uh, I got another insurance scam I'm trying to run, and I might need a little help. Brick you both off a pretty penny for your assistance. Oh, no, no, I, I'm good, brother. This, this week was stressful enough. <laughs> well, how much we talking about, baby Shaq? Sweetie, really? I mean, don't you, uh, nice as some type of moral code or something? Well, yeah, but I always wanted to be a paid informant. This being an informant for free didn't get me any closer to getting my Peebo Rice and limited edition 8-track collection. Wow. Your life must be really sad outside of here. <laughs> well, it all started when my Auntie Pearl died. I wouldn't do that. Huh? I wasn't going to. Good <laughs> <Hey>, come up. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Weaver. I hope it's all right I let myself in. Of course. I just wasn't expecting uh, this type of greeting. I know. I thought you deserved it after my behavior. Jay, I'm sorry I walked out like that. Oh, no, no, baby. I, I'm sorry. And uh, listen, sweetheart, there are no boundaries or limitations whatsoever when it comes to us. All right? Mm -hmm. I, I was being selfish and uh, unrealistic. Yeah, and I was being big-headed and controlling. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I want our transition to be smooth as possible. Mm. So, you're right. I had no right coming over here and taking over your place. No, no, baby, you're right. Now, uh, this is a, uh, about to be your home, too. I, I want you to feel at home. So... Get a uh, feng shui away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to press pause on this shuffle. What? Yeah, well, especially after the bill came out more than the price of our wedding. Oh, get out. I know, how dare her. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was the price of two weddings combined. What? I know, the nerve of her. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's something we should do together. No, no, no rush, no pressure. Slow and easy until we get it right. I couldn't agree more. And Cheryl, I, I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you, future Mrs. Weaver. Mm, what, what, what'd you say? I said, 
future Mrs. Weaver. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, about that slow and easy thing to you. Mm. Get it right? No, I think we already got there. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but I think we can come up with something much more... Anything. There is no place like home. Good night, y'all. Good night, son. Man, I cannot tell you how good it feels not to have to look over my shoulder every moment. I mean, a brother didn't realize how much he enjoys his freedom and living. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, Jay. Huh. Well, you want to join me down at Mabel's for the late night special? Three little pig bites and a wolf waffle? Yeah. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> oh, man. It's gone. What? It's gone. Somebody stole my whip. Oh, what? no. Yeah, maybe we should call the police. Yeah. No, no, no. But that means we would be snitches. Snitches? Yeah. Man, forget y'all. Man, I'll call the cops. I thought we were family, man. Y'all ain't right. Hey, man. So, uh, Smitty? How long is it going to be before you tell Kenny that you moved his car? Well, I got two choices. Uh huh. Now, I can let him offer me a feed to tell him as his paid informant. OK, OK. Or I can keep my mouth shut and let him sweat it out a bit. Let, let him, him sweat, sweat it out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You don't want to miss them wolf waffles. Yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that, man. Well, what about the coyote bacon? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Don't miss the groundhog grits, brother. I'm not <laughs> I could have been. I was almost killed, Jay. You know, Jay, texting can be dangerous. Never walk in text, never drive in text, and never, ever, ever, ever text at the urinal. I'm on my third phone this month. Bring it in. Give me a big hug. We don't need to. Hey, 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 what the hell does walk in on? I love this man. Oh. OK, OK, see, I, I get it, I get it. Is this why things didn't work out between you and my moms? No, 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 no. He talking about the fact that I just saved his life. Besides, <laughs> I like him thick. What? Uh, what? What happened? Oh, my gosh. It, it was like an action movie, man. I, I was crossing the street, and, and I was texting Cheryl. And, and I, I was, was watching them big white lines that got painted on the street. You mean the crosswalks, Smitty? Yeah, I was trying to keep from stepping on a crack, because, you know, you step on a crack, you break your mama's hip. Anyway, I, I, we were crossing the street, and this car was swerving. It almost hit me, and Smitty stood in the face of danger and pushed me out of the way. Smitty, <laughs> you saved my life. Well, I've done that for anybody, Jay. Besides, if you dead, who's going to pay me on Friday? <laughs> you know what? Take the day off. Oh, I could do that. With pay. Well, if you insist. Hey, Smitty, wait, wait, wait. You know what, man? I'm going to take you to dinner. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to go to the finest steakhouse in town. <laughs> and we'll get all dressed up. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll put on my tux. Ruffles or no ruffles? Yeah, minus the ruffles. <laughs> Copy that, Jay. We're going to the, the top of the line. We're going to McAllen. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about that, Jay. That's right on the water. What if they have a tsunami? Look, man, the odds of a tsunami is like one in a million, man. So there's a chance. Oh. Apparently, uh, Jay almost got hit by 18 wheel hauling bricks. Oh. Uh, when all of a sudden, Smitty came jumping out and flying like some black superhero and pushed him out the way right before he became one with the grill. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, 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 you're telling me. Have you ever tried to find a, a flat coffin? Wow, wow, it really makes you think about how precious life is and how, how you should cherish every moment with your father. Yeah, 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 no doubt, man. You definitely had me thinking. It makes you think about how important family is. Family is important. Mm -hmm. Family is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, you want to mm -hmm. go grab something to eat or something? I mean, yeah, I can eat. It's about that time. I mean, and speaking of time, it makes you think how 
Time is the most valuable asset we have in this life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of time, you know, we better go get over there and get something oh, to eat like before they close. It's like six o'clock. We're fine. Kenny. Okay. Oh, right. Kenny. You ever ask yourself what you want? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking about getting some Italian food. You know, maybe some what? shrimp scampi, bowls of ziti. Have you ever tried a chicken tetrazzini? The chicken's so good. Kenny, I am talking. I'm asking you what you want out of this life, baby. I'm talking about your legacy. Oh. Go big. Oh. Deep. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe a statue or a bus or something? But reflection pool? What, what's it all the question? Kenny, we are at an age where we need to start thinking about this stuff. What stuff? Responsibility, Kenny. You gotta start thinking about being a responsible adult. I mean, what if all of a sudden you had to take care of another life? Oh. Maybe another life swimming through the deep unknown. You gotta feed it every day. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I would, I would do what any man would do and, and, and step my game up. I'm just, well, I'm happy to hear that. What, 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 what? You, don't, you don't think I had in my business? Uh, look, look, what? Look, anytime there's a situation, I always step up to the plate and handle my business. Look, I'm not trying to be no statistic. No, no, Kenny Clark ain't trying to be no damn statistic. Okay, well, I didn't mean to get you all riled up, but I do like the passion. Oh, no, no, no good to look. Hey, hey, I am not riled up, okay? I I, I'm just hungry. Okay. And also get my linguine on. Well, we could get our Chinese on, because I want some shrimp fried rice on. But, but how come you never want to eat what I want to eat? Because you never want to eat what I want to eat. Oh, man, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, man, I am good and stuffed. Boy, that curry goat lip stew good enough to make you slap your mama? Well, not my mama. She slap your ass back. <laughs> Mabel, why are you looking at me like that? Cuz, you's just a triple OG going around saving people's lives like Captain Saber, homie. Forget about Chef. I'm talking about Smitty. Look, I'm just doing what any normal person would have done. No, a normal person would have watched him get smashed by that truck, then step over his dead carcass. But not you, black superhero. Oh, not you. Oh, mm. there he is. <laughs> Mr. Hero himself. <laughs> Come here. No, no, no. Come here. No, no, no. no. Wait, Listen, whoa, whoa. Jay, I'm all, I appreciate the compliments, but I'm all hugged out. <laughs> all right. All right, fair enough. Come on, look. <laughs> What's done is done. Oh, and he's modest. Yeah. I know I broke up with you, Smitty, but I swear to God I might have to reconsider. Yeah. I, I, I got to tell these people that my buddy is a hero. No, no, look, I don't want these folks carrying on over me, Jay. Nonsense, nonsense. Put her there. <laughs> listen, man, I believe in giving credit where credit is due. And listen, everyone, everyone, listen up over here. <laughs> This, this mountain of a man, casually known as Smitty, is much, much more than that. This man is a hero. <laughs> he is a hero. Hey, when the, the Grim Reaper showed up and, and tried to make me give up the ghost, <laughs> Smitty said, oh, oh, no, brother. <laughs> not today. It's not going down like that on my watch. <laughs> and for that, I am eternally grateful. <laughs> you better clap for that black superhero. Clap it up. All right, all right, all right. OK, look, everybody, everybody, everybody. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go back to your food. Everything's fine. Jay, can you please have a seat? Just sit down. Come, come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Jay, listen, I'm not a hero. I was just doing what a friend would do. You'd have done the same thing. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I, I, what you did, man, took courage. Hey, Mabel, put this man's lunch on my tab. Oh, it's already on the house. Oh, look at you. The black superhero special. All right. And Smitty, I'm going to make you a plate to go on what? a platter, brother. What? <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, listen, Smitty. I remember.
remember you telling me that you might not be able to make the rent this month. I might not be able to make the rent every month. Okay, well, let's stay in the present. All yeah, right. Um, bam. Take this. What's that for? Yeah. Well, you are no longer behind in your rent, at least for this month. Oh, Jay, I can't accept that. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. There's a catch. All right, so what is it? Are you Jay the Dream Killer or Jay the Dream Weaver? No, 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 Smitty, there is no catch. <laughs> but I want you to know that if anything happens to me, you should get it all. Does that include sure? You are everything but sure. <laughs> I bequeath to you all of my worldly possessions. Oh. What about Kenny? I mean, look, I think Kenny should have this stuff, Jay. Oh, look, man, he'll get his cut when you uh, sell the shop. Now, listen, my compadre from another madre, <laughs> you, you get the whole shebang. You know what Ashley's problem is? She thinks he's slick. I think she's trying to trap her brother. Why are you gonna say something like that about Angelique? She's a good woman. Yeah, but then why does she keep dropping all these, these hints and clues as if she's trying to catch a case of the preggers? You know what your problem is? What? You too busy thinking about her trying to trap you when you ought to be trying to trap her. She clearly has more going on than you. Man, whatever, Smitty. All I'm saying is I'm not ready to be a father right now. Hey, there you are, my buddy old pal. <laughs> Is uh, that the only person you see? And, and yeah. why are you dressed like the floor in here? Yeah, if you fall down, we won't be able to see you. <laughs> this right here, my boy, is a skydiver's jumpsuit. <laughs> and you have it on why? Well, after today, I'll have one less pending item on my bucket list. I don't see. get it. Well, you will get it when I push your ass out of the plane 10,000 feet in the air. <laughs> So that's how this works? I save your life and you end mine? It, no, Smitty, we're, we're, we're gonna skydive. I, I've always wanted to do it, and I want to experience with the greatest guy I know. Well, it sounds like a great idea, Jay, but the only problem is I'm afraid of heights. Oh man, you gotta face your fears. And I have a whole list of activities for us to do. Ski the Swiss Alps? Mm -hmm. Climb Mount Everest? Yeah. Run a 26-mile marathon? Boom! Spend the weekend with Halle Berry. <laughs> what about Cheryl? Uh, she's probably gonna film it. Yeah, listen, this is the way that it's going to work. We're going to be gone for a couple of days, and uh, do you think you can handle the customers? As long as I get to handle all the money that comes in, hey, as far as I'm concerned, y'all can stay gone for the next few weeks. All right, Smitty, let's roll. Your skydiving suit is in the car. <laughs> uh, Kenny? Uh-huh. All you. You got it. All right. Make sure you clean up and lock up every day. We'll be back. <laughs> we about to jump out of airplane. I don't know if we coming back. Oh, no, nah, man, we'll be fine. It's uh, swimming with the sharks that you have to worry about. What? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's stingrays. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, and there's a 20% discount on the Smitty Superhero Sandwich. You gotta hide me. You gotta hide me. There's my black superhero. And you in uniform? You know I love a man in uniform. Mabel, I'm serious. Oh, I love being shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Mabel, you gotta hide me. Uh, what is this all about? It's Jay's darn bucket list. He done gone overboard. Ever since I saved his life, he been going overboard making me do all kinds of crazy stuff. Crazy like what? Well, doesn't this outfit say it all? Yeah, you look like you're about to be shot out of a cannon. That's next, Mabel. You gotta hide me. Now, look, I like the royal treatment and get gifts and all of that, but this is going too far. I want the good old, reliable, cheap-ass, inconsiderate Jay back. Smitty! Hey, hey, Smitty! Oh man. The circus starts in a half an hour. You're gonna make us late. Smitty! A cannon, Mabel! A cannon! Okay. You gotta hide me! Okay, hide in the kitchen, and I got this. Hey, okay. Smitty! Hey, hey, Mabel. Uh, hey. hey. Have you, um, have you seen, uh, Smitty? Nope, haven't seen him. He's not here. 
Why you look like a domino game? Big six on the board. He's gonna make us late. Well, if you see him, uh, tell him that I'm looking for him, okay? Okay. All uh, right. Jay? Yeah? Do you think maybe you've gone a little bit overboard? Oh, overboard? No! No, no, no. I I'm just trying to check things off my bucket list. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we've been having a blast. Uh, we drove race cars. We 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 went bungee jumping, <laughs> and we're thinking about wrestling alligators. <laughs> you you should come with us. No, 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 baby. Been there, done that. I used to wrestle with one of my exes, Tyrone, uh -huh. who wore alligator boots. Oh, okay. And that was close enough for me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, suit yourself. Um, listen, if, if you see him, just tell him I, I, I'm looking for him, all right? I will. All sure right. will. <laughs> Smitty! Come on out, Smitty. Hey! The coast is clear. Thank you, Mabel. I owe you. You sure do, and that'll be $15.95. Oh, you can shake me again. <laughs> what? I think I have a solution for your problem with Jay. All you have to do is flip the script. I don't get it. Well, you saved him, so you want to get him to save you. You put yourself in harm's way. Then he saves you, and y'all even. <laughs> Mabel, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> you got a better one, Einstein? As a matter of fact, I do. Let's hear it. What I'm going to do is mm -hmm. I'm going to put myself in harm's way, and that way when Jay saves me, he'll think we eat. You know what? I was just starting to catch feelings again. Then you had to start talking. Get out of my restaurant with looking like a baboon's ass. So now we're just rolling into my place unannounced, huh? What'd you do? Have an extra key made when I was sleeping? No, I used the spare one that you gave me. Don't you remember? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, okay. Right, right. Right. So what are you doing here? I thought you were gonna be at work. Oh, well, you know what? I closed the shop early today. I mean, uh, since Jay and Smitty are doing, you know, God knows what. Mm. But the uh, better question is, is if you thought I was at work, why are you here? Because I have a surprise for you. Okay, okay, look, 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 Angelique, look, you can just say the surprise, okay? Because I already know what this is. I mean, you got some sexy lingerie, you're gonna pop out in it, get me all hot and bothered, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's when you're gonna make your move, right? What move? Well, you know the move. You know the one where you whisper in my ear, you know, when I'm at my weak point, and tell me you wanna have a baby? Huh? First of all, I have a child. Let's just start there. Second of all, I'm not interested in having a baby until I get married. Thank you very much. So you're not trying to have my child? No, no, I'm, I want to have a child with somebody who's responsible. And seeing as how you closed your father's shop because you didn't want to deal with the clients, lets me know that you're not ready for serious responsibility, let alone a baby. Damn, you ain't got to hit a brother like that. You know what? I'm out of here. No, okay, I'm wait, wait, wait. So... Hey, look, look, just, 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 just out of curiosity, okay? All right, what was the surprise? I got you. A goldfish, Kenny. What? But I love goldfish. I had a goldfish when I was in the seventh grade. I mm. named him Charlie. Yeah, and let me guess. You overfed it, and it died two hours after you bought it. Oh, see, see, mm. see, see. You, you think you know it all, mm -hmm. huh? It was three hours, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, just like I thought. Wait, 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 where you going my fish? Oh, you think I'm going to leave this fish here with you? You probably just fry it. This fish deserves better than you. We both do. Charlie! Kenny, my boy, today is my lucky day. Why, you ask? I didn't ask. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. All because of my good buddy, Smitty. It was really nothing, Jay. Yeah. You see, that's what heroes do. They don't like to take credit for their good deeds. Son, why are you moping around like your, your dog died? More like my fish? Huh? Man, it's a long story, man, but uh, I think it's over between me and Angelique. Why? What happened? Man, I told her I didn't want to have any kids right now, and. Turns out she wasn't even talking about kids. She was talking about a fish. What's all this talk about a fish? Somebody pregnant? Nah, but somebody feels stupid. 
Kenny, you can fix this. Man, at this point, it's gonna take a miracle. Now, uh, miracles happen all the time, son. I, I take what happened with me and Smitty. It really was a miracle. Yeah, uh, uh, my brakes were wore all the way down to the rotor, and I had noticed Smitty offered to fix them. I was under the car, and one of them jacks broke loose, and the car started to wobble. And before it could fall and crush my head, I snatched him by the legs and I drove him out right before the car was ready to crash. Oh, wow, Jimmy, you're a hero. Yeah. That's what I say. Oh, no, no, no. Smitty's the real hero. No, you the hero. No, you the hero. No, you the hero. You the hero. You the hero. How do you figure he's the hero? Yo, oh, because if Smitty didn't notice the, the brakes were bad, I could have crashed a car on Sherlyn and I's weekend getaway to Big Bear. You know how slushy those roads can yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, those roads can be kind of slushy. Thanks for coming by, Angelique. I just wanted to apologize for the, the way I've, I've been acting these past few days. It's just that, you know, you, you were talking about having kids, and it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. You know, I'm sorry. I don't know, Kenny. I just feel like we're having so much trouble communicating. I mean, maybe maybe it's a sign. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. What? <laughs> no, babe, look, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm just playing. Look, look, I, I, I know I got I got some things I got to work on. Okay, but, but I love you, and, and there's no one I would rather work this out with than with you. I appreciate that, Kenny. I just, I need time. Okay, here, just, just wait here. Don't move. Kenny, don't move. Just, just don't move, bitch. Just, Kenny, what are you doing? Just, just wait. Hold on. Oh. Babe, we are the proud parents of twins. Oh, 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 Meet oh Charlie God. and Charletta. Oh, Oh, no problem, babe. Hey, look, hey, let's fire him up. Can't... I'm just playing. I'm just kidding, babe. I'm, I'm going to put him right here. Look. Honey. Mm. We're parents now. Oh, yeah. oh, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. <laughs> Our old neighborhood superhero. Give me a hug. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. Now look, 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 look. We need to talk. Sit down. No, no, Sit down. No. I need you to stop making such a fuss over me. Smitty, you saved my life. Truth is, you was about to step on a crack, so I shoved you to save your mother's hip. You can't be serious. OK, look, Jay, I appreciate all the attention. I really do. I could have done without the alligator wrestling. But I do appreciate you helping me out with the rent. But I can't accept. Oh, man, go you, you go ahead and keep that. I mean, you are truly dumb. But at the end of the day, you did save my life. Well, that's the teeth grinding, low down, knock knee, terrible cooking, bad hygiene, fur chested, bow legged Jay. <laughs> Come on, let me let you buy me a beer. You're on. <laughs> oh, no. You're hungry because I just got some. What the hell is going on? Babe, I told you I'm trying to find the perfect dress for Jay and Cheryl's wedding. You never heard of shopping online? Babe, don't worry. I got all my bases covered. If there's a dress on sale, I will see it. All right. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, no, no, no. No, don't touch that pile. That is the maybe pile. Where am I supposed to eat my chicken and biscuits? At anywhere not in this room. What? Napkins. Kenny, do not get chicken grease in my magazine. Man, why do women always have the hardest time making a decision? Because it's hard. Here, here, let me see. You know what? This one right here. You would look good in that dress right there. Done. Let's eat. This one, Kenny? Yeah. The white one? You know how easy that was? You want me to wear a white dress to a wedding? Isn't that what people do? No, it's what brides do. <sighs> look, fine, fine. Let me see. Mm. Here you go. 
at can, Green One, right there. Here, listen, Kenny, Bang. I have a system. You can't just flip through a page. Oh, wow. Oh, baby, this dress is amazing. See, because I know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's $2,000. I do not know what I'm talking about. Hey, don't, no, don't, no, don't, don't get that dress. Oh, baby, please. Baby, will you please buy this for me for my birthday? Angelique, your birthday isn't for another six months. Okay, but you can buy it for me for an early birthday. Please, please. Look, look, look Angelique, I, I mean this in, in the most loving way possible. Hell no. Oh, wow. I can't get that dress. $2,000. Can I have a bite? Of course. <laughs> I don't get all the dumb rules women make up about weddings. I mean, you can't wear white. The bride wears white, Kenny. Hey, so what, man? Two people can't wear the same color? That's to make it easier on the groom. Wedding's stressful enough. Can you imagine accidentally marrying the wrong bro? And, and you know, and what's this about the, the whole throwing thing? I mean, they're throwing rice, and the bride is throwing bouquets. The Smitty throwing up after drinking too much. Well, if you don't want me throwing up, don't have an open bar. And then what's this about, you know, something old, something bald, or something blue? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you, you got me on that one. I, that one makes no sense at all to me. Hmm. You know, I like them Jewish weddings where they break the glass. I bet one of them rabbis one time accidentally broke a glass and everybody in the wedding was looking at him and he just committed to it, say, hey, it's part of the ceremony. <laughs> hey, you know, and I like when Jewish weddings, when they, they lift you up in that chair, oh, man, yeah, and that's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay. Hey, why don't you and Cheryl have a Jewish wedding? Yeah, well, we would consider it if either one of us was Jewish. Well, you could always convert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, but hey, man, seriously, though, but, you know, Jay, are there any, like, rules or traditions I need to know about, man? Because, you know, I don't want to mess anything up as your best man. Whoa, 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 whoa. If anybody going to mess up anything as Jay's best man, it's going to be me since I'm Jay's best man. <laughs> Hold up. Wait, you're Jay's best man? I believe so. Did he ask you? No, did he ask you? No, but he's standing right there. Let's ask him. Jay, Jay what's one of us gonna be your best, best man? man? What? Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, I gotta meet Barry in the back here. Hey, hold up, Jay. No, you yeah. gotta see no dang Barry in the back, man. What? Well, yeah, and who the hell Barry anyway? Uh, oh, he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there is no Barry. I just... Kind of made him up. Listen, fellas, I haven't decided who I want to pick as my best man. I... Hey, man, well, hey, well, make your decision, because it's obviously going to be one of us. And it sure as hell ain't going to be Barry. There, there is, is no, no Barry. Barry. My point exactly. Man. Here we go. Mm. I usually don't make this dish, but today I made it especially for you, mm. Kim. Oh, thank you, Miss Mabel. You know how much I love your fried chicken. <laughs> Sweetie, that's not chicken. Kenny, you need to look at this. My mystery me. What do you think of this dress? It looks like every other damn dress. Kenny, this is the dress. Maybe this is the damn dress. Well, it looks too damn expensive. Oh, it's $100 cheaper than the one you like. Yeah, that's $2,000 minus $100. Look, it's still more expensive than my rent and my car no combined. That cheap-ass car, baby, it's time for an upgrade anyway. By the way, your check engine light is on. See, exactly. That's why I can't contribute to this expensive-ass dress. Oops, did somebody say <clears throat> expensive? <clears throat> Wow, Mabel, this is a great knockoff. Mabel, don't do no knockoff. Take a closer look. Look at the stitching and the detail. Let me see this. Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. That's what I'm saying. OK, you got some side hustle going on we don't know about? Ain't no side hustle. That's all from tips. Tips? Here? Is there another location we don't know about? <laughs> Yeah, well, watch your mouth, little girl. Oh, sorry. I'm just starting to like it. You wish they uh, gave you tips at your job, Angela? Huh, oh, you looking to make some extra paper? Cause I need a new waitress. Oh, oh no, no, she's she's not trying to work here. Oh, you you answering for me now? No, I, I mean I just didn't know you, you wanted to be a waitress. I didn't know that I was turning down easy money either. Hold up, this is no easy job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at oh. your face. <laughs> it's real simple, baby. You bring them the food, thank them for their tips. It's all good. Oh, I can do that too. But, but what if we break up? 
Excuse me? No, I'm just saying, like, what, what, what if we, like, broke up? I mean, I'd be, be sad, you know, to, to lose you, but to also lose my favorite place to oh. eat. I mean, this... Angelique, you want the job or not? Because I got to go, baby. Absolutely, Mabel. Well, then I will see you at 6 a.m. Okay, perfect. Well, did you just say 6 a.m.? I did, and don't be a minute late. <gasps> I need to get to sleep. <laughs> Good morning, Mabel. <laughs> but it was a good morning. What do you mean? I mean, it must have been a damn great, fulfilling morning for you to have the gall to come to work late on your first day. It's six. It's six oh one. So why were you late? Any butter them biscuits this morning? Uh, Mabel, I don't think that's any of your business. Oh, you're right. My bad. Here you go. Put that apron on. Oh, my God, child, you are not fast at all. Sorry. Now, let me slow down and explain to you how things are going to go. Okay, customers tell you what they want to eat. You tell the kitchen what they want to eat. You bring them what they want to eat. They pay you, you pay me. Any questions? Nope, I think I got it. Great. There's your first customer. Go ahead, give it, <laughs> give it a shot. Hi. Welcome to Mabel's Tables. Uh, yeah, just sit anywhere you like. What the hell was that? I just seated the customer. I just sit anywhere you like. It sounds like you want him to do your job for you. What is the first rule, Angelique, of working in food service? The customer is always right? Hell no. Mabel's always right. You got that? Yes, Miss Mabel. Excuse me, can I order? What you can do is get your ass up, come back in, so Angelique can try this again. Are you serious? Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Get your ass up. Come on now. Get that too. Yes, Miss. Oh. Hi. Welcome to Mabel's Tables. You already got a menu. Why don't you have a seat right here at the best table in the house? Thanks. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, I'd love, uh, maybe a... What you would love is to get your ass up again and let's try this again. <laughs> what did I do wrong this time? You said it like a normal waitress. Okay, and... This is Mabel's Tables, baby. People come here for the food and the experience. Okay, all right. So I want you to take him out and seat him again. Mm. This time, a little sexy. No! What? You want that big dip, don't you? Okay, I don't you feel... can't do nothing with a little one. <sighs> I don't feel comfortable. Come on, who right? What? All the time. Who? Mabel's right. Oh, that's that's right. Mabel's right. Oh, that's right. Hi, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, this is my first day. I'm really, really oh, nervous, okay. and I'm just not I'm not getting it right. Can you uh, this, can you just go out one more time? Last time, I promised, just go out and just try it one okay. more time. Thank you. There you go. Go, go. Yes. Hey there, handsome. Welcome to Mabel's table. Why don't you have a seat right here and tell me what I can get you? Anything from the menu. Ooh. Ooh. How about something off the menu? I have a boyfriend. You know what? I don't know what you guys are selling here, but I ain't trying to catch no case over no eggs. You can't have my eggs. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back here again. Hey, son. Hey. Uh, what's up, Kim? Hey, nothing much. I went out and bought this 12-pack of beers and realized I only wanted six, so uh, there's six beers left, and I figured, hey, why not give them to my best bud, Jay? Huh? <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Kenny, but a uh, normal person could have just left the beers he didn't want in the refrigerator, but uh, I'll accept some beers. Hey, hey, and you know, and the <laughs> other reason I stopped by was because I got these playoff tickets here, and I was looking for someone to take one off my hands. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, hey. I would love that, man. Uh, how much? How much? But come on, Jay, don't insult me. Look, you're my father. It's my treat. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. You wouldn't just be trying to sway me to get me to pick you to be my best man, oh, would come you? come on, Jay. Look, that's funny, man. Look, I haven't even thought about the whole little best man thing. Uh, but uh, right. since you mentioned it, who are you picking, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> 
Smitty. Jay. Smitty. Kenny. Yeah, uh, what are you doing here, Smitty? I just wanted to give you this box of Cubans. Uh, let me guess. Uh, you, you bought two, but you only need one. Nope. I wanted to bribe you into picking me as your best man. I also got your playoff tickets. Oh, well, it's too late, Smitty. Jay's going to the playoffs with me. Ooh. Hell, he is. He ain't going to the playoffs with you on my tickets. And your tickets. I already got him tickets. Plus, I'm going to be his best man because okay. I'm the fruit of his lawn. Well, I I'm the apple of his eye. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> See? Well, the, the, uh, listen, but I know Jay Long. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just I'm messed up. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, hey, no way. Hey, stop fighting. Well, Jay, my tickets are in the nosebleeds, but I'll buy you all the beer I can drink. Oh, come on, Jay. What kind of best man's gonna have you sitting in nosebleed seats? Yeah, yeah, okay, look, look. <laughs> I, I, I can't accept either tickets, all right? Yeah, yeah, I can't accept the cigars. I can't accept the beer. I, I just haven't decided who I wanted to pick as my best man. Okay, look, look, let's just put it this way, Jay. Look, if you heard that Smitty and I was in a car accident, boom! Who would you worried about the most? Yeah. Hmm? That is absurd. I would be worried about both of you. Okay, Tom. okay, okay. When you dream, who do you dream about more? What? Dreams don't mean anything. Dreams mean everything. All right. All right. Well, honestly, um, since I, I've known you longer, I probably dreamt about you more, Smitty. <laughs> but they're usually nightmares. Ha! But it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> look, look, Jay, yeah. man, let's just keep it real, man. Look, man, look, being your best man is not about who you like best. That's right. Man, there's a lot of planning involved, a man. Lot. You think that Smitty can handle that? I don't know what your reply is. Exactly, you seem not to know a lot. Well, I know we about to take this outside. Oh, after you. Oh, yeah, after me. You gonna oh. find out what we talking about. This, no, watch I can be a best this? man. Watch I'm this. a best man, man. Hi, hi, me. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Oh, hey, it's me. Hey, uh, I I'm sorry. I, I thought you were Smitty. <laughs> and why Ooh. are you scared of Smitty? Ooh, girl, long story, long story. Uh, how's your, uh, dad, Mabel's? God, I hate to work in a dream. Oh, uh, man, you know, it's just that me and Smitty got into this big old fight, okay? And I and was... And you asked me to go first, and you wanted to hear my thing, and then you cut me off. Okay, you know what? You're right. You're right. You know, my, my bad. Uh, how was it, um, working at, at, at Mabel's? It was terrible. Just you know, it's just that being Jay's best man would, would mean a lot to me, okay? Okay, it, it... okay, okay. So, <laughs> clearly you're gonna keep cutting me off. So, let me go ahead and just solve this for you. Right, right. Being Jay's best man would mean a lot to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that it would mean to Smitty? Hmm? Damn. I, 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 I didn't think about that. It's called empathy, can you just grow up? Now, can I tell you my thing now? No, but I, I mean, I already know. I mean, you know, Miss Mabel is sweet, but she's a hard ass, but... At least you're working and making extra money. Uh, not really. Mabel takes a damn cut of all the tips. I worked 14 hours today. I walked away with 45 bucks. And if I have to skin one more raccoon, I'm going to lose it. Oh. Wow, man. Well, you know, it, it sounds like, you know, you should have you know, took my advice. Just quit. No, no, no. I can't let Mabel get the best of me. I have got to beat her. Beat her at what? I don't know. I just got to beat her. Smitty? Hey! Ooh. Kenny? Kenny, I come in peace. Be a man, Kenny. Yeah, well, what's up, Smitty? Here, this a peace offering for earlier. Oh, hey. hey thanks, Smitty. You know, uh, hey, I, you know, I, I said some things that I didn't mean either, man. You, you want a beer? Sure. Okay. Right. Angelique, I'd like to talk to Kenny, man to man. You don't actually expect me to leave, do you? Talk to you, woman, Kenny. Oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, did, I, just, I just can't tell her to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Angelique, could you please go up and sit in my apartment for just a few minutes? Why don't you and Kenny go up and sit in... You know what? Never mind. Kenny, text me when you're done. I, I got, okay, I will.
So, uh, what's up, Smitty? Look, Kenny, I, I just want to say I'm sorry. I mean, I've been thinking about it, and I think that you ought to be Jay's best man. You his son. Man, it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, he didn't choose to have me. He chose you as his best friend. And in my eyes, you're his best man. No, 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 Kenny. It's family first, always. Now, you his son, and you ought to be his best man. And honestly, I'm a little mad at Jay for not seeing that. Hey, well, you know what? I'm, I'm a little mad at Jay, too. And you know what we should do? Boycott being his best man. Oh, that a teacher. That way he'd be stuck with Barry as his best man. Smitty, there, there is no Barry. Exactly. OK. <laughs> Drink it <your> in. <laughs> I'll be right back with your soap. Oh, actually, I'm so sorry. The kitchen is just a little bit backed up. If I'm going to check on your food right now. Hey, uh, just um, yeah, sit wherever you like. Um, can you just wait? Just wait one second. Uh, um, um, excuse me, miss. Please don't eat anything. Uh, look, I'm so sorry to bother you, OK? But uh, these ribs are a little overdone. They look all right to me. Yeah, you, you see, I swear I'm, I'm not the kind of guy that sends food back at a restaurant, but these are just a wee bit too... too... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get that taken care of for you, okay? I'm really sorry about that. All right. Hey, sorry. I'm just having a really, really hard day, you know? I'm working this job part-time to afford a $2,000 dress that I really don't need. Okay. I'm really stressed you, out. You know what? I, I really, really don't need to know all that. Okay? I, I, I just want some I more ribs. I need a little water, I, and then I'll be fine. Just want some more ribs. Angelique, I need you to run some errands for me, darling. Errands? Yeah. You know, Mabel, I did not sign up for that. Well, I didn't sign up to have all this swag, but I do. Seriously, Mabel, seriously, do you see how many tables that I'm dealing with? Child, please, you should see it when it's actually busy. Okay, but I can't believe that I am the only server. Can you at least call another girl in? No, I already called another girl in. You know who it is? You. Oh, so please. if you can't handle this, then maybe you should quit. You know what? I do quit. Newsflash, you can't quit. Why not? Because you're fired. It's too late to fire me because I quit. It's too late to quit because you're fired. Fine, I got fired. That means I can collect unemployment. Ha! You can't collect unemployment because you quit. No, I didn't quit. Yes, you fired you did. me. Did everybody hear her? No, she you fired didn't. You fired me, you sir. Did you hear her? She fired me. You know what? I want to I wanna, I wanna give you something. There we go. go. There you go. This is a check for $2,000. Yeah, consider it a tip. Because my service was that good? <laughs> uh, uh, no, OK. Uh, your service was that bad. In fact, it was so bad that I would hate for anyone else to have to suffer through it. OK, so you have your money, you can get that dress, and you never have to work for the service industry again. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye, Miss Mabel. <laughs> Can somebody please give me some more ribs? We don't get you some more anything you want. So exactly what do you do for a living, youngin? Um, I mean, I, I work for my dad. Is your mama still married to your daddy? Say what? Jay? Hey, guys. We have something we want to say to you. Oh, OK, because I have something I want to say to you. Let him fit it. Oh, hey, Kenny, go ahead. Sorry. We decided that neither of us are going to be your best man. <laughs> neither of you? Well, that, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And a uh, matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to be able to even attend your wedding. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's too bad. Why not? Well, uh, I, I got this thing, and, and, and I pushed it back a couple of times, and psh, can't push it back no more. OK. Yeah. I also can't attend your wedding, Jay. And uh, what are you doing? I'm going to Kenny's thing, whatever that is. <laughs> Okay, okay, fellas, I get it, I, I get it. I, and I'm sorry I was so indecisive, okay? I should have made a quicker decision and, instead of letting you guys go at each other. That's right. That's right. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> but it seems like the damage is done, and, uh, you know, it's a shame you won't be able to attend my wedding, you know, with all that good food. I, I even convinced Cheryl to have chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh... Open bar, free liquor. Yeah, yeah. 
But you know, um, I wish things could be different. Uh, matter of fact, today I was gonna ask both of you if you could be my co-best man. You know, but uh, since you won't be attending my wedding, uh, I lied, Jay. I can attend. Yeah, yeah, so can I, Jay. Oh, all right. Uh, co-best man? Co-best man. Co-best man. All right. <laughs> but I get to be first in charge, best man. Is that right, Jay? Hey, hey, as long as I'm standing next to Jay, closer to the altar, I'm fine with that. He needs his best friend standing next to him, and I've been his best friend for 30 years. Okay, hey, well, no, I'm going to be holding the ring. Hey, 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 hey. I got to hold the ring. Look. <laughs> Co-best man. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Thank you.